Happy Friday! We are doing another focus on philanthropy and today we are in DeCoin and we are featuring nobility. And with me I have Sam Kunert and he's going to tell us a little bit more about nobility. Yeah, so it's actually Nobility, Nobility. Athletics Foundation. That's no problem. Everybody messes it up. So Nub, what we call our different limb, the ability being able to. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I would play sports. I was a three-sport athlete, competed for the Duquoin Indians, actually competed against the Benton Rangers and everybody else around this in this division. So I have a really uh, strong athletic history. And uh, growing up, you know, I hear people tell me that I couldn't do things and I refused to listen to it and continue to push and end up going to college which is where I went to a camp and found kids with limb differences who were being held back and not allowed to compete out of fear of failure. And anybody who knows anything about failure knows that you have to fail in order to succeed. And so we got those kids out there. I learned their athletic ability and I knew I had to change the way these kids were looking at themselves and the way their parents were looking at them. So I started Nobility Athletics Foundation where we hold camps for limb different children aged four to 17 and amputees. And we teach them to play mainstream organized sports using mentors who look like them who played at the highest levels of these athletics uh, throughout the collegiate sports and even some of the professional ranks so these kids have a mentor who looks like them who provides them with no excuses when they go through their, any of these activities uh, we've been going now for a decade which is super awesome because i was a senior in high school when we started this and it was uh it's just really humbling to see it how it's grown because now we've been in nine different states uh, last camp, which I guess was now in 2019, so we weren't able to have one in 2020, um, we had two, or we had 189 different kids from 45 states and five other countries come here to DuPont, Illinois. Uh, this year, before COVID hit, we had uh, projected 250 different kids from 49 states and 11 other countries coming to DuPont, Illinois. So we're, we're trying to move out there, serve as many kids as we can. Uh, we are a national nonprofit, even though we're located here, but you know, we wouldn't want to be located anywhere else because no place else like Southern Illinois treats us with such a community and hospitality. Um, what do things look like right now with COVID going on? So a lot of, you know, a lot of foundations, a lot of camps and stuff are kind of shutting down. They refuse to serve the kids out of risk. But, you know, I, I feel like the kids are being punished enough. The kids are being punished more than the adults even. And so we're determined to have our camps. We're determined to have clinics. So we've been, uh, we have pared down, instead of doing our typical camp format, we have uh, created a 25 capacity limit on clinics. Uh, we wear masks, we follow all the COVID guidelines, we even instituted our own COVID guidelines, and we're still able to serve our kids. We just had our first clinic of 2020 um, this past weekend, had a golf clinic. We only had five kids show up because everybody's afraid still of this failure, or afraid of this COVID. And we're like, you know, we're, we're going to continue to find ways to serve, um, whether it's one kid or 25 kids, we're going to continue to serve. Um, so we're, our next thing is a fishing clinic in Clearwater, Florida. Yes, I said Florida. We are going to uh, wear masks. We're going to institute all of our COVID practices and guidelines and take temperatures before anybody enters our, enters our facilities. And if anybody is running the temperature of 100.4 plus, they're immediately refunded their fees and sent home. You know, we don't want uh, to, a, we don't want to uh, provide any more exposure to anyone and we want to continue to serve the kids. And that's right now, these kids need to serve more than ever just because it seems like the world's quitting on them and we refuse to. Yeah, that's awesome. So if people that are watching would like to give to Nubability, yes. how can they do that? There, there's several ways. So you can, uh, we have Venmo, which is new. Uh, didn't even know that existed until about a month ago. I am very technologically uh, inefficient. So it was very cool to see. Uh, we also have, you can go on our website, go to www.nubability.org, that's N-U-B, ability.org. Um, you can also go on our Facebook page, Nub Ability Athletics. Uh, Instagram now has a donate button, which is awesome, we appreciate that. So you can go on our Instagram page, which is at Nub Ability Athletics. And then uh, Twitter, we have at Nub Ability, so you can go and check that out. We have all the social medias, LinkedIn, everything, uh, YouTube. So, the, but the big thing that I want to ask of Southern Illinois is to share where we are, share who we are, because we're not finding all the kids in Southern Illinois. Uh, here in DuCoin, for instance, we have seven limb different children uh, who have been born in a population of 6,500. According to um, the statistics from the Amputee Coalition of America, one in every 2,000 population, there's a limb different child. 
And so I know they're here. I know they're here in Southern Illinois, but we just haven't been able to find them. We want to find them. We want to serve them all. Uh, so help us to find them, spread the word, and we we'll, would we'll appreciate that more than anything. So we also want to help further your cause. We have a donation oh, wow. that we would like to give to Methability, um, just to help you further the good you're doing in Southern Illinois. Well, we really appreciate this. This is going to help us a lot. It's you know, five hundred dollars pays for a full camper and their family to come to our camp. So that's a it's a full scholarship for somebody who couldn't afford it otherwise. So thank you. You're very welcome. And everyone have a great weekend. Thank you.